Hi guys, so I'm back this week with another DIY. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own throw pillow. So this project is perfect because it only requires you to have two things, the loop yarn and a pair of scissors. Okay, to get started you will need to unravel your yarn a little bit and lay it out so you can see the individual loops and the tail end of your yarn is to your right. You're then going to start by laying a row of all the loops on the yarn upwards in the same direction. You may have to untwist the yarn a little bit in order to do this. Next, you will then measure out however long you want your throw pillow to be. For this tutorial, I'm going to do a small one just so I can show you guys how to make it at home. So I'm going to count out my starter row of 10 loops and make sure they are all laying upwards in the same direction. Once you have your starter row of loops counted out, you are then going to grab your next loop, which is loop 11. You are then going to take loop 11 on the yarn and loop it through loop 10 from the back forward and pull it up. This will start your next row. Then loop 12 through loop 9 on your starter row. You will continue pulling loops from the back forward until you get to the end of your starter row. After each row is completed, go ahead and pull them up to tighten your row and make sure they aren't twisted. You will repeat this process going from the right to the left this time, going back and forth until you created the size you wanted for the back of your pillow. Once you are happy with the size, cut off one extra loop at the end of your yarn and cut that loop in the middle to open up the loop and make a tail. You then are going to start at the opposite side of your tail to braid the edge. You're going to start by looping the second loop through the first from the back forward, then the third through the second, then the fourth through the third, and so on and so forth. Once finished, go ahead and tie the tail in a knot around the edge. This will be the back of your pillow and you can set this aside till later. Okay, so starting just like the back side of your pillow, count the same amount of loops out and face them all in the same direction with your tail end to the right. This time you are going to loop your hoops through the back again but face them down. Each original loop is going to end up getting three more loops that go through it. Okay guys, so I'm going to try to explain this a little bit easier because I know sometimes on video it could be a little hard to understand. So looking down at my loops, I have my tail end to my right and my bunch of yarn to the left. I have my starter row, one through 10 loops, and I'm going to take my 11th loop and once again, just like the backside, loop it through the 10th loop from the back forward, except I'm gonna start laying these down. So I'm going to take my 12th loop, lay it through my 9th and face it down, 13th through my 8th and lay it down, and I'm going to keep going from left to right. Once I get to the right side, I'm then going to repeat it back from right to left and do the same exact thing. So once you do the same thing each way from left to right and then right to left, you should see that your starter row of loops have two loops each going through it from the back forward. I'm then going to do one more row of loops going from the left to the right this time. And once I stick it through my original starter row, I'm going to pull it up. This will create a new row. So 
So this is what I mean when I say that every starter row of loops will get three loops going through each loop. Two facing down and then one going up to create a new row. You are then going to repeat this process until you get the same size as the back of your pillow. Once again, you're going to braid off the final row of the square just like you did on the back side. Great, now you should have two even squares, one that will make the front of your throw pillow and another that will make the back. You can set these aside for right now. You are then going to take some loop yarn and cut in between each loop to make the yarn just one long piece with no loops. You will need a piece that will be long enough to go around the edges of your pillow. You can then take the front and back pieces of your pillow and stitch around three sides of your pillow leaving one side open. Add your pillow insert and go ahead and close the fourth side. If you see any tail pieces sticking out, feel free to cut them off or stick them through to the inside of the pillow so they are hidden. Now you guys have yourself a fun DIY throw pillow. This thing is super soft and comfortable and only costs $32 to make. If you need additional help because I know DIY tutorials can be tricky at times, feel free to DM me on Instagram at fairdtv. Thank you so much for watching guys and like always do something great and I'll see you guys in my next video.